cookers welcome back to cooking with bird martinez the one the only bird motherfucking dinas bitch so first off i want to appreciate no i want to appreciate pendeja i want to thank everybody that you know watching little old me fucking with little me fucks with me i fucks with you rock with me guess what bitch i rock with you thank you everybody i also want to send a shout out to escobar escobar that motherfucker sent my ass twenty dollars um, he wants me to make a video of albondigas. I will make you your video, bitch. And you're giving me the grocery money. $20. Thank you. Um, So I'll be making that tomorrow. But today, bitch, I'm going to make milanesa de res. Bird, what is milanesa de res? I'm Mexican, right? But I never knew what the fuck milanesa was. I know what the fuck. Um, pollo en chile rojo, pollo en chile verde. My mother's from Michoacán. So we eat a lot of hot food, right? So when I got with my husband, Mario, his mom's like, oh, well, you know, Mario's favorite food is milanesa with some rice and salsa on some horchata. And I was like, bitch, what? What the fuck is milanesa? So she taught me um, how to cook this, and it's beef sirloin tip steak milanesa. It's like a thin cut. This is a little too thick, but it's okay. And it's breaded, right, with corn, with cornflake crumbs. So this is the one that I use. So I'm gonna use two pounds of milanesa. I'm gonna use the breadcrumbs. This is the best breadcrumbs I have ever used. I tried using like the store brand. I tried using like different types, but this is the motherfucking secret. And I've made this video, the same recipe on my other channel, but I wanted to share with you guys because this, this recipe is very, close to my heart because it's my husband's favorite food M mandy's favorite food and it's like i love them little fuckers so yeah anyways so you're gonna use this box if you can't find it just buy some cornflakes and put in a either in a blender or a food processor and blend it little by little and it's the same fucking thing trust me i've done it before also i'm gonna use three eggs one two three because you know we want the fucking motherfucking breadcrumbs to stick to this bitch so there you go and we're gonna use a little secret of mario's um grandmother she told me if you want the the meat to get tender put a little milk in it put a little milk in it bitch also to fry them i'm gonna use some vegetable oil you know how much this was 3.99 i had to get at the liquor store because i ran out of oil and yeah 3.99 that's a lot of money but whatever so let's get this motherfucker popping Beach. So here's my meat. I'm just gonna crack the eggs in there. Let me get my other egg. Crack them eggs. I do two of them on the side and boom. That's why I like using this, this thing because so I could crack the eggs easier. And then with your hand, make sure you wash your hand and don't be scratching your ass. For some motherfucking people, I've been to the taco place, the taco stand, and the motherfucker sneeze. And they have all kind of mocos in their hand, and they keep making tacos. That's fucking nasty. No wonder people have, like, food poisoning and all kinds of fuckery. People don't wash their damn hands. So after you do that, we're going to put the milk. Like, let's say, like, two little splashes. And we're going to leave it there for 20 minutes so it could get tender. So, yeah. Trust me, milanesa are so fucking good, bitch. This bitch, for this dish, if you make milanesa, milanese, is that what it's called in English? Milanese. If you make milanesa, you could either make some rice on the side, some beans on the side, some fries on the side. I think I'm gonna make fries. Surprise Mario. You're like, oh, that's like his favorite food. Milanesa and fries and ice cream. He's a fatty. He loves food. I'm like, you should be grateful that you got my skinny ass to love you because a lot of bitches love to eat. And you know, like his ex-girlfriend, she would she would take his food away and me, I give him my food. But mira como te toda pinche flaca. But anyways, so this bitch right here has been sitting here for 20 minutes. It's I think it's ready. It's nice and tender. So now this shit got wet. I'm gonna flip it because you need a dry area. And we're gonna put the breadcrumbs like so. Okay, my nails are not dirty. I dyed my mom's hair, and that's why they look like that. And I didn't want to wear the glove. Well, I told her I only want to wear one glove because I want to make sure to get all your canas. So that's why my hands look like that, okay? And I'm not a dirty little bitch. 
I'm just a dirty little hoe. Okay, so you're gonna get it and you're gonna make sure to get everything all up in there. Bitch, I'm showing you guys this recipe and do you guys know that my brother-in-law's ex, this is my brother-in-law's favorite food too because his mom makes this food, so that's why. And his ex bitch um, tried to make it for him because you know she wanted to make him happy because she sees that it works for me you know making my husband happy with food but the bitch is evil and she can't cook for shit <laughs> so when she made it it was all burnt and i was like bitch you're not supposed to cook it that long but anyways i would have like helped her but she don't like me so you see this mackenzie fuck you ho so anyways you go like this see how i'm doing it make sure to get all the little corners so when they're eating them, they get a lot of crumbs. And see how it sticks nice and good because of the milk and the egg? And I'm not trying to be a bitch to Mackenzie or whatever, but that lady, she was so mean to me. She fucking, um, she blamed me of calling child services on her. Bitch, first of all, I'm motherfucking Mexican. I do not call popos on nobody unless they're fucking killing somebody. But I don't fucking call, um... Almost like social services on people. Hell motherfucking ass. I was raised better than that. So for motherfuckers to blame me with having no proof. Mm -mm. She left me a nasty ass voicemail. I think I still have it. Maybe you guys I could share the cheese man. Okay, so I'm almost done with this tip. When you're doing your milanesa, make sure you put aluminum foil on the bottom. So when you're done with all your, you know, your bullshit, you like take that bitch off and throw it away. See how I am done already with mine? So I just took up the aluminum foil and threw that shit away. If you're gonna just do it like on top of the thing, you're gonna have a whole mess. So see how pretty they look? Uh -huh. They're nice and ready. So I'm gonna pop my fries right now. I'm gonna put my fries on the fucking, como se dice, en la lumbre. For the fries, I use these motherfuckers right here. I also like to make them like with the papas, with the potatoes, peel them, cut them up and all that. But bitch, right now I wanna make my life easy. Here you go. Can you guys tell I dyed my hair black? I have a bunch of canas. I am 32. And I have all these canas right here. I mean, I love getting older, but damn, my hair, I don't want it to be gray and shit. So before you start cooking, make sure to put your oil as much as you want. I used like three cups. I know that's a lot, but my pan is not that big. So it needs to be like a little deep in there. So when you put the milanesa, you know, it cooks correctly. So, um, the way you know that it's ready is you put a little piece of onion and then when it starts like pss, going like that, then you know it's ready. But I'm not gonna put the onion because I know it's ready. Here I can smell it. Here we go, yo, motherfucker. So, see? Smooth, bitch. I'm gonna throw another bitch in there. It takes like, seriously, like a minute to fry or to cook. And also, I'm gonna throw the fucking fries in there. Now it's been like a minute. I'm gonna flip the bitch like this. Look, perfect bitch. Since it's thinly cut, it doesn't need a lot of cooking. A minute pass. When you take it out, go like this. You don't get oil. At least don't get a lot of oil. I mean, I know this is oily, but it is fried steak or whatever the fuck you call it. So yeah, go like that and put it in here and i put little holes in there so it could keep draining and just keep it going bitch do what you do just watch my shoes for this recipe i always like to make a salsa verde sauce with chile de arbol i already have it pre-made so i can't show you guys but i'm gonna put the link below look at me sounding like a fucking youtuber and shit but i'm putting the link below no for real i'm gonna put the link below or is it below and me, my caption, no? Yeah. Or whatever, you guys know where the little thing is, the little lines, I'm gonna put the link so you guys could make that rest, um, that salsa. And trust me, with Milanesa, it's bomb skis, skis motherfuckers for real. So, I like to plate my Milanesa. I like to cut it up because, you know, um, these are chiquillos and Mario's extra. Also, put some limon on that bitch. And trust me, you will. Bitch, that's the Milanesa. Those are the fries. Here is the rice. Mandy's heating up the tortillas. I'm gonna put a little plate, a little plate plate, but I'm gonna cut it first for Mario and for the kids. 
And then I'll show you how I hand it out to them. So now it's time to taste this food. I already know how this shit tastes. It's fucking bomb ski skis, motherfuckers. It goes best for me with rice. My kids, my husband, they like that shit with fries, but I like it with rice. That you know, that's the original motherfucking way. So, anyways, um, what was I gonna say? If you want to learn how to make the rice, I'm gonna put the link below too, bitch. And here we go. Okay, I do not eat a lot. Okay, I just eat enough to get full and to survive up in this bitch. So don't don't think I'm one of them bitches that gets a big ass plate and you know I'm just the way I am, bitch. I don't eat a lot. I eat normal. Well, I don't know. I eat like a fucking bird. I'm a weirdo. My mom always says, Hi me, tienes que comer. My my husband's grandma, well she's rest in peace. She died already. She would always try to like fucking feed me. Especially when I was pregnant. She's like, Mija, mija. They had like big ass plate of jamón con huevo and I'm over here like, bitch, I'm nauseous. I cannot do this right now. But anyways, this is fucking bomb. Mm. And like crispy. And then the rice with the salsa, it's just fucking perfection. Mm-hmm. The salsa is my recipe. I learned how to do that by myself. The milanesa, that's my husband's mother. The rice, I guess that's everybody's recipe. You know what I mean. <coughs> Anyways, hope you guys like this recipe. Um, send me a message on my Instagram. Mario, Mario and Birdie, Mario with an H. If whatever you guys want me to cook, I'll cook. Um, you know, leave leave me a beautiful ass comment because you guys are the shit. Um, to all my bird gang, 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 motherfuckers, I love you. Peace.